So when you're removing an exhaust manifold, there's there's two main types. One is there will be studs that stick out of the engine, and you put a nut on it, and the studs stay in place and the nuts come off. And the other type is where you actually put studs that screw right into the engine block. Um, in my case, the nut, the studs were rusted so badly that I only got one out of the, well, ten. There's eight here and two more over here. Uh, one out of the ten that actually came off in one piece. So the rest of them, I uh, ended up having to grind the head, which didn't even exist basically right off. And this is what was left of the stud, which is still stuck inside the engine. So after I pried off the exhaust manifold, I had to take these studs out. So to do that, I got this tool, the stud extractor. This one is an Evercraft. 776-0012 that I got from Napa. Um, this is my second one that I bought because the first one I bought ended up breaking on me. This one here, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say on the package if these are if these jaws are hardened, but they are black, which makes me wonder. Uh, but the last one I had was they had cast jaws. And the problem with cast jaws is that it makes them kind of brittle. So if you take something like this, like if you have a stud that's in really bad condition and you try to grip onto it with this with this jaw, if it's not completely uh, smooth and even, the jaw will actually apply more force than the next jaw and it'll break, your, break the tooth right of the jaw. So I had one for, I don't know, an hour and I broke it um, because I gripped onto something that was a little less than round. Um, so then I actually ended up using a pin. I tried to weld a pin onto one of these studs to make a very good surface for this thing to grip onto. But ended up that I ended up shearing, shearing the uh, the pin straight in half. Anyways, so these things are actually pretty cool. Actually, let me get a close up. Yeah, so the stud extractor. So the way this works is uh, you have an inner piece and an outer piece. It works just like a, a drill chuck. So that when you uh, screw this in or out, the... the the jaws get closer and closer to the middle. So this works, um, I think it works the opposite of the way that a jaw chuck would work, just that when you are loosening this, it's getting tighter. And that makes sense, right? Because you would, uh, as you're loosening the bolt and you're trying to take it off, you're trying to grip it harder and harder and harder. So at some point, you either grip so hard that it destroys what you're, what you're gripping onto, or the thing that you're gripping onto actually starts turning. Or it just rips in half and comes straight out. There you go.